Alright guys, what's up? Al from It's Androids World here. Today doing probably one of the most simplest tutorials there is. Now you have to have Almond Ross Recovery Image 1.5.2 to do this. So hopefully you've jailbroken your G1 with my um, tutorials. Um, now if you have Almond Ross Recovery Image 1.5.2 on your MyTouch 3G, then you can do this as well. But my jailbreak tutorials will not work for, uh, my G1 jailbreak tutorial will not work for the MyTouch 3G. Also, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is so I can eliminate some time that I put into my videos just by linking you to this video. For all Hero ROMs, your SD card needs to par be partitioned. So I'm going to show you guys how to partition your SD card. So go ahead and power off your phone. It's very simple. And once again, your phone needs to be rooted with Almond Ross Recovery Image 1.3.2 or higher. So I have the latest one, 1.5.2. Once your phone's off, turn it back on using Home and Power, and the screen will vibrate and you'll get the T-Mobile G1 screen and it'll take you to the green screen, the recovery image and partitioning your SD card is an extremely easy task with this and it really really helps with all Hero ROMs and Eclair ROMs so then what you're going to want to do is you'll see the option that says partition SD card just use your trackball to scroll down to partition SD card and click it the first option will say partition SD card so just click that and it'll say hit home to confirm so hit home and now you'll see something that says swap size so just scroll up on the trackball to 128 megabytes and then tap home now it'll say ext2 size i like doing 640 and i hit home you can do whatever size you want the ext2 size has nothing to do with speed and then it'll say continue partitioning press home to confirm so just hit home and let it partition so i'll be right back when it's done Alright guys, and in about every second, um, you get one of these dots, and then it'll say partitioning complete. Then you're just going to scroll down to ESD, EXT2 to EXT3. And what this does is basically convert your EXT2 partition to EXT3. Almost every Hero ROM supports EXT3, and I'm pretty sure every Hero ROM for sure does. And most of the Hero ROMs these days, all new ones will pretty much support EXT4. Um, so... Basically, if my video that you're coming from this, the Hero ROM tutorial that you're watching that tells you to come to this video, if it says to use the if I say I use EXT4, then you're gonna want to convert EXT3 to EXT4, and if I say I'm using EXT3, then you're gonna want to just use EXT3. So I'll get back to you guys when this is finished. All right, guys. So now that that's done, once again, if my video told you to go to EXT4, you're just gonna hit EXT3 to EXT4 and hit home once again, and this one's gonna be a very very quick partition. And it should be almost done any second now. And there it is. So then just go ahead and hit back. Um, if you're on a MyTouch 3G, hit Reboot System Now and then take your battery out. And then boot back um, into recovery. If you're on a G1, you can just hit Go to Console. Press Enter. And type in Reboot Recovery. And it'll say Restarting Recovery and take you back to Recovery Image. Then you can just hit the USB MS toggle feature and flash any ROM you want. Thanks for watching this little quick tutorial on how to partition your SD card. Um, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys rate this video 5 stars. Comment if you guys need any help. And subscribe.